Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about what is happening with XRP and the XRP community. Now on CoinMarketCap, XRP is at 28 cents, rank 5 spot as well. So Polkadot is above XRP right now. But remember guys, right now XRP is playing dead. Whenever it plays dead, we can see, look at that, it's just being stable. Whenever it does that, there is a crazy move that comes after. So be prepared. If we go to XRP Profit Suite, these other communities still think we are crazy. They will learn very soon. Now again, a lot of people think the XRP community is crazy and all of these things, but time will tell guys, time will tell, I guess. But now guys, before we jump into this, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, nor is financial advisor, just to my value only. The cryptic quote is sweet out. Co and even I'm teaching at MIT blockchain technology and the class is crowded. There's a lot of people that want to know about this technology. So how do you regulate it? Well, it's really important, I think, for this. If it gets broad adoption, if we really think the crypto world is going to be part of the future, it needs to come inside a public policy envelope. That means we need to guard against illicit activity. And yes, we need to protect investors. The crypto exchanges, big exchanges like Coinbase, need to really come within either SEC or the CFTC, the agency I once uh, was honored to chair. Uh, inside of something to protect investors. Let's distinguish two things. One is cryptocurrency and the other is blockchain. Because cryptocurrency may rely upon blockchain, but you can do things with blockchain you don't do with cryptocurrencies. Right. Do we need to regulate blockchain? Because we don't, don't normally regulate computer programs. We uh, don't regulate JavaScript. D David, I couldn't agree with you more. We should be technology neutral to promote innovation, but still in being technology neutral, I'm agreeing, not regulate the blockchain technology, but just ensure that its application, like cryptocurrency, investors are still protected. What does that mean? That we make sure there's not fraud and manipulation to the to the extent we can um, in the Bitcoin markets. At the same time, this is to those of us who are not computer programmers, very sophisticated and seems to be moving very, very fast, migrating. Do we have the personnel within the federal government to actually be able to understand this enough to really know whether there's fraud going on or what's going on? Well, it's always a challenge. That was true when the internet came along in the 1990s as well, and you're right. But I don't think that means we give up. We still should try and protect investors. And then there's more confidence in markets. And where there's confidence in markets, then more people can participate. There we go, guys. The US SEC chair is pro crypto. Once again. Next it comes from Bashi Crypto. XRP versus Bitcoin, bridge versus store of value. My issue around these special asset classes, let's drift back to Bitcoin because it is the granddaddy of all of the debates going on here. There would be tremendous value. In a currency, a digital currency, and every time I talk to you about this, it's the same topic I look at. I look at the asset value of Bitcoin versus the asset value of all things traded. And Bitcoin is still a nothing burger, a giant nothing burger. And the reason I would argue that that's the case is you, you don't have every institution willing to play ball with it. But if there was an attempt to either take Bitcoin itself or some other currency, because I think Bitcoin's proven the first mile, there's no question about it. There's global interest in digital currency. But a, a, a digital currency that could be traded everywhere with the regulator agreeing to it and would be agnostic. In other words, you could trade it to buy assets in Switzerland, trade it to buy assets in France or in England or in the United States. And everybody would take that digital currency. Then you would have something pop. Then you would have something of tremendous value because that way I could keep half my net worth in the digital currency and just flow and trade and go in and out of things. I could buy groceries. I could buy a house with it. It wouldn't. I'd be agnostic to it. That is a vision that's really attractive versus this tiny little thing that for some people is an outlier that in, in many ways is not liquid or not easily liquid. Like if I want to buy a million dollars worth of, of Bitcoin right now, I got to do a fair amount of work to pull that off. It's not instantaneous. It's getting better. I agree. There we go, guys. We can see the comparison between the two. Next, it comes from Willy Wonka, bullish for XRP. And so I think what a lot of people are running into now is if you've raised money for your project using venture capital, and now your project is ready to get off the ground and actually have people use it. So you're going to use a token for that project and you want to sell those tokens. So, you know, if you want to participate in the network, you've got to buy a token. At that point, I don't think that what you're selling is a security, again, depending on the facts and circumstances. The facts and circumstances always matter in securities law. But I think we've painted with such a broad brush that now it looks like anything that is in any way related to a token is a security. And I just, I don't think from a 
from a securities law perspe perspective, that is accurate. So I think we have, to, we have to talk a little bit more precisely. If you're raising money for a company, sure, that's a security. But if you're just, if you're just selling something to be used in a functioning network, it doesn't look like a security to me. There we go. Now, guys, just a fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is quite interesting. Dear Donna Suido, we can see overnight by Mr. Poole. I'm pretty sure he retweeted or said something about this right here. Again, it's overnight. So, what will take place, guys? Brother Suido, how very Mr. Poole. So, the connections are being made right here. We've seen this picture before. The resemblance, the connections are being made once again, guys. And it's right here from Fojack. And there we go. Marco Suidao, 16, 21, 30th, equal 13th, equal January. January 16th in the Julian is January 29th. January 21st equals February 3rd. January 30th equals February 12th. Now let's match these dates with the Chinese calendar, which is still in 2020. The Chinese calendar is still in 2020, guys. 129 equal 12, 16 in Chinese calendar. 23 equal 12, 21. 123 equal 33. 212 equal 12, 30th equal 123 equal 33. February 12th is also New Year's Eve on the Chinese calendar very interesting stuff now let's go down here we can see the dates for Mr. Pool if we go down here don't forget Kraken the latest this exchange should delist XRP on January 29th it all matches up nearly all exchanges are delisting XRP before January 29th why you aren't able to margin trade because if you were 99% of the exchanges will be bankrupt due to XRP insane price increase Chinese calendar 100% if we go down here, Phoenix, February. Look at that, guys. That's the symbol. And then price rise by January 30th. Then announcement of XRP on February 14th. Just like Bearable Guy went to three and Mr. Pool. We can see right there. So first, is, so first we'll see the price increase by January 30th, and then the announcement will be made on XRP. Remember. They need to raise the price first before everyone gets in. That makes a lot of sense. And then we can see the celebration taking place as well. So guys, a lot of stuff. This is a very big connection thread right here. Hopefully this comes true. Extreme Mami has out. The rest of the world has clarity. That's why halts are only happening in the US. This is great for the pressure added on the US. And I believe this is checkmate. The rest of the world, UK, Asia, etc., will be light years ahead of the US if they don't act quick. This is all planned, zero doubt. So, again, guys, I mean, a stage, everything's planned. Why wouldn't it be? This ha this is happening on a specific time. King Lin is sweet out. The wealth ripple will make from XRP will be far more than any wealth Amazon, Facebook, Elon could dream of. The wealth fr from XRP will generate for generations. Again, guys, generational wealth. Fojek is sweet out. Mr. Pool, things that make you go, hmm, how can you doubt? We can see everything that's taking place right here. And what is taking place in the real world, guys? A lot seems to be happening in January. Seems like a crazy month. Fell just or sweet out. Well, now you understand truly why I said XRP is a ghost stuck in a, in the physical world. It can only work in a digital age, not a fiat one. The use of that to initiate the phoenix. I remember seeing a phoenix come from that in a picture somewhere. So economic collapse again, guys. First, this has to take place. The collapse then we see the rise of the phoenix we see here from imf what do we see look at that i i i i i i we can see if we go down here look at that guys the connections from neil moonstrong again joker so ps you know you can feel the momentum building when crypto is quiet you know a tsunami is on its way prepare for vol volatile and drastic fluctuations followed by an absolute that 
The stage is set. XRP, do your thing. Again, guys, I feel I really feel like XRP is about to make a crazy move. Maybe in the next couple of days. Be prepared. I'll be stressed to sweet out. XRP doesn't give a damn about alt season. XRP is not an alt. I can't repeat it enough. XRP will have its own run after clarity. Everything else is noise. So there we go, guys. Remember, XRP is not a alt. Like every other coin in the space. Enigma, sweet out. We are here. The connections are being made, guys. Look at that. We are here as we speak. So, what will take place? Look at that. A lot of photos. Remember Mr. Pool? Mr. Pool did tweet a lot of this out. So, there we go. The final tip for today's video comes from Baba Cugs. As February begins, the time runs out. Will you be here for the grand finale? In the end, all will whisper. Baba was right all along, guys. What will take place right here? What will take place? A lot seems to be happening in January, but who really knows what will take place at the end of the day. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, guys, and feel free to be a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.